I'm Lisa with J. Andre All Natural Cosmetic Sponges. Now that you've purchased your All Natural Teardrop Sponge, I'm going to show you some great ways to get the most out of your products and some great techniques on how to use your sponge. Hi guys! So I'm going to show you how to get the most out of your Teardrop All Natural Sponge. So we've already dampened it. I've actually been using this, that's why it's dirty. Gotta be damp. You're going to get the best application with a damp sponge. To see how to do that, we've got another video that you can check out. To start using your Teardrop Sponge, um, you can use a liquid, a powder, a cream foundation, whatever's going to be best for you. I'm going to start with the tapered ends and dip it in my favorite foundation. I'm going to start by going around my under my eyes and down my nose to get into the tightest areas of my face. The best way for application on the sponge is to bounce it against your skin. So you're just going to bounce it or stipple it until you get the coverage that you like. So again, just, I'm going to go around my eyes and down my nose first. Now with the broader end of the sponge, again, just dip it in your favorite foundation. We're going to use that same bouncing motion to cover the rest of our face. I'm going to focus on just one half of my face so you can see the difference um, in the type of coverage and how I'm covering up uh, my imperfections so you can see how great of a flawless application you get using the sponge. I always go down my neck a little bit and then don't forget to get around your hairline as well. I prefer heavier coverage so just to build up in some of the areas that I feel like I need it, I'm just going to go right back in get just a little bit more foundation and again just bounce it in those areas um, that I feel like I need more coverage. A great thing about your sponge is you can use it for wide varieties of applications. So now I'm just going to go in with the tapered end of the sponge and grab a little bit of concealer and I'm just going to cover up any discoloration I have under my eyes with the concealer. Just again bouncing it along my skin this is going to make sure that there is no edges and that the flawless application um, continues even with your concealer. And I'm also going to go down my nose because I get red. If you have any actual blemishes you need to cover, the tapered end is great for that as well. Just bouncing it right where you need that coverage with your concealer. One more thing we're going to do is again, with this tapered edge, there are so many different ways to use your sponge. Um, I'm going to do a very slight contour using a darker shade of foundation. It's just going to give your face dimension and shape. It's going to make you look a lot thinner, um, which is great. Everyone wants to look thinner. So again, using the tapered end, I'm going to dip the sponge in a foundation shade that's two to three shades darker than my natural skin color or the foundation that you're using. Um, I'm going to focus it on the temples of my face and up around my hairline, just bouncing it right along and then down the hollows of my cheekbone. So again, it's just gonna make you look thinner and have more definition to your face. And then the last one I'm gonna take it is just right under my jawline. So I hope you can see the difference between the two sides of my face just by using the sponge. One last thing before we move on to powder is I'm just going to take the sponge and just balance it all over just to make sure everything's blended. So your sponge that you've just used for your whole face application can also be used to set your makeup. You always want to set your makeup um, with a translucent powder, whether it's loose or pressed. Um, it's going to ensure that your makeup stays perfect all day and that you remain shine free. So I'm going to just take the edge of our teardrop and dip it in. I'm using a pressed powder. And I'm just going to bounce it along my face in different areas. And then I'm going to go in and just continue to use that same bouncing and stippling motion to distribute the powder all over my face. Again, just setting my makeup so I have all day wear and we lock in our foundation. I get really shiny, so I'm just going to go around my nose again to ensure that there's no shininess for the rest of the day. All right. And last thing, like I said, there's so many uses for your sponge, um, whether it's cream, powder, liquid foundation. Um, you can also do the same with your blush. So whether you use a cream blush, a powder blush, even bronzer, you can apply that with your sponge. Um, I'm going to use the side of the teardrop again, just like how we applied our powder. I'm just going to dip it in my favorite blush, and I'm going to apply it to my cheeks. Same bouncing motion, and then I go all the way back to my hairline. With this, I'm just going to twist it a little bit and just apply my blush perfectly. And you see your whole face is seamless, there's no hard edges, uh, you really use the shape of the sponge 
to get a perfect application. So I've applied the whole half of my face using the teardrop sponge, foundation, concealer, um, contouring, and then setting powder as well as my blush. For further tutorials, please visit us at jandresponges.com as well as visiting us on Facebook and following us on Twitter.